Component 5 Reading Determination Using STAR Student Growth Percentile Prior to completing this exercise, educators may wish to review specifics regarding the use of Student Growth Percentile for Component 5. A copy of the SGP Explanation video can be found on the staff channel of the district website in the DPAS 2 section. In addition to the video, an SGP FAQ document from REN Learning has also been uploaded as a resource. To get the necessary data in a workable format, we need to go into DSC. Click iTracker Pro. Once inside iTracker Pro, look for the STAR Growth Summary by Class Report. The number of accessible reports varies by user. So while it's report number 11 in this list, your list may be different. Once you've found the STAR Growth Summary by Class Report, double-click it. In this example, Marsha Allen is the teacher. Notice there are two drop-down fields under her name, Class Homeroom and Star Assessment. Make sure that both drop-downs are accurate for the data you're pulling. In this case, Ms. Allen is working on finding the median SGP of her reading class. So in the first drop-down field, she makes sure that she clicks Language Arts Reading. For the second drop-down, she selects Star Reading. When the drop-downs are accurate, simply click Run Report. The report will look like this, providing students' names along with their Fall, Winter, and Spring Star Benchmark data for reading. To save time manually copying all the data and calculating the SGP, we're going to export the data into an Excel sheet. Scroll down to the bottom of the page on the left-hand side and look for the Download to Excel button. Go ahead and click it. Once you do, you'll get a pop-up window at the bottom of the page asking you if you want to open or save the Star Reading Growth Summary Report. Click Open. The Excel spreadsheet contains the same information that was seen in the DSC table. Fall, winter, and spring star benchmark data for each one of the teacher's students in her ELA class. Before we go any further, we want to make sure that we save this file and save it in the correct format. So go to File, Save As, Put it on your desktop for now. At the bottom, put Component 5 SGP Determination 2017. Notice that the file is a CSV file. We want to make sure that we change that to an Excel workbook file. After saving the Excel file, first thing we want to do is rename the tab that we're working on. So if you look in the lower left-hand corner of the Excel sheet, you'll see that the name of the tab we're working on is Star Reading Growth Summary. I'm going to right-click that and select Rename. And I'm going to call it All Reading Students. And I'm going to make sure I go up and I push Save. The next thing we want to do is we want to get rid of some of the extra data that's here. So I'm going to put my cursor at the top column, A, left-click it, and drag over so that I've got A, B, and C highlighted. Then I'm simply going to right-click and click 
hide. I'm going to do the same thing now for the grade, homeroom, all the way over. And the last column that I want to keep is the spring SGP. I'm going to hide all the other columns. So once they're highlighted, I'm simply going to right click and click hide. I'm now left the names of all of my students, their student ID, and their spring SGP. And as part of the roster verification process, I identified three students who need to be excluded for not meeting the 85% attendance criteria. One was Ben Carson, so I'm simply going to highlight Ben. Another was Goldie Hahn, highlight her. And the last one was Elaine Bennis. I'm going to highlight Elaine. And I'm going to go up and I'm going to click Save. So now I can see that I've got all of my students and I've highlighted the three students who need to be excluded before the rating is determined. The next step is to create a, an exact copy of this tab. So go to the bottom of the page and right click the name of your tab, All Reading Student. When you right click the name of the tab, you'll get an option to move or copy that tab. Click Move or Copy. Click Move to the End and check Create a Copy and push OK. We've now created two identical tabs. First thing I want to do is rename this tab. So I'm going to right click it, go to Rename, and I'm going to call this Verified Roster. And I'm going to push Save. Now since this is the Verified Roster, I need to get rid of those three names that we highlighted who did not meet the 85% attendance criteria. To do that, I'm simply going to go to the row. I'm going to left click it, right click it, and then choose delete. Notice Ben Carson is now removed. I'm going to do the same thing for Goldie Hawn. I'm going to left click, right click, delete, left click, right click, delete, and the very next thing I'm going to do is push save. So I have two tabs on my spreadsheet, one that shows all the students in my class with the students who need to be excluded highlighted in yellow, and the other one just my verified roster. Now it's time to calculate the median SGP of the students on my verified roster. To do that, we're going to let Excel do the work for us. In the column, a few cells down, put your cursor and type equals median. Notice you get that blue box. Double click on it. The Excel formula now is ready for you to tell it what numbers to choose in order to calculate the median. Once you see that flashing cursor, simply put your cursor up in the first number. You'll see it highlight, drag it down through the bottom number, and click Enter. And there it is. The median SGP for this verified roster is 70.5. So just behind it, I'm going to write median SGP. And the very next thing I'm going to do is make sure I save it. This is what you will bring to your administrator for the Gold Conference and be uploaded into DSC as evidence for Component 5 Gold Termination.